Good morning. It's Monday, Labor Day. Here in Cypress, Texas. Everywhere, but I'm here in Cypress, Texas. We are here in Cypress, Texas. So, I got up this morning, read my scriptures, and, uh, so now we're in chapter 3 of Matthew, chapter 34 of Genesis and Psalms. And um, these words are alive coming at me, man. It's amazing. So the apostle yesterday was talk teaching about David how he's he had the uh, he was anointed and he because he was anointed as the king priest he had like 24 access to the ark of the covenant in other words to God Right, and uh, and he was the one he figured out. So there's cycles. As I'm walking in the street, that's the way too sensitive for that car. There's cycles in the Bible of people who have this understanding or awareness of the true meaning of the word so it uh, starting from Adam right and uh, and because of it he had dominion but he lost it when he diverted from it. Then the next one was Noah. Well, there was Enoch before him. But then there was Noah. And then Then, after Noah, it was Abraham. And then, and then there was Isaac. And then there was Jacob. And uh, but what, what it's telling me is that those were really seeking God. And uh, and then there was Moses, right? And then. After Moses, Joshua, and then after Joshua, they went back in captivity, and then came Judges, <laughs> and maybe, maybe Samson, I'm not sure. Maybe partially Samson. And then came. Wow. And then came. Um. Oh, 
people in King David, and then Solomon, all right, that had this understanding. They just kept passing, you know, they, they kept, uh, the faith of Baal kept ins inserting itself and taking over. Oh, yeah. And then, then all the prophets, and Micah and all of them, they had these understandings, right? But uh, with um, so I'm when I'm reading Psalms, I'm coming at it with this respect for David and for the Psalms as I'm reading them, right? And then it hit me with the, uh, and it hit me. So I come around, come around, I'm like, okay. I'm reading in, uh, in Genesis where Shechem rapes Dinah and falls in love with her. And, and uh, it's, um, It's the sons of Jacob that get him to do, get him to circumcise themselves and make themselves vulnerable, right? And then, uh, which is really interesting. And then they, that's when they attack him and kill them all, right? And then you hear you get uh, John the Baptist who's uh, talking to the scribes and Pharisees and you brood of vipers and you need to repent and circumcise, you know, you know circumcise. He, he's, he's basically saying they need to do the same thing that the Hivites needed to do, you know, were required to do. And it's like, oh, wow. See, and they know this stuff. They know this history. They're supposed to know this history. And so they're like, yeah, I ain't falling for that trap. <laughs> That's what they're thinking, right? Because it's hard to discern who's right in Genesis. Was it, you know, Jacob, who was willing to compromise? Or his sons, who were like, ah, no, that's unacceptable. That... You know, raping my sister. You know, that's unacceptable. And I know how they feel. Right. It's crazy. But having <clears throat> this understanding, it just changes everything in, in the readings. It just, you know, it's just like, It's more than just a different translation. These words have, these bringing in the Hebrew meaning with the symbols, right? The, uh, it, it, it changes, it, it, it's, it's a, it makes it all different. It makes it all I mean, I'm curious to see how going through it all and seeing how the story changes, you know, what you're going to see is you're going to see, um, and, it, and it makes reference in um, Matthew to Psalms when it talks it talks about the axe laid at the root of the tree okay 
and so so in Matthew John the Baptist is making reference to what David was talking about in Psalms and uh, this is where I got it. what do these trees represent these re the, the trees in Psalms represented somebody opposed to David and God in Lebanon and in Matthew it's making reference to the to the existing leadership in the church in uh, in Judaism right so that's all this is you know, and that's just that's just almost that's almost obvious, right? You know, except you know, and so there's even deeper mysteries because when you look at the the Hebrew meaning of the words, it's going to say something different. All right, yeah, I hope this makes you want to dig into it. All right, and there's a whole bunch of things you. It's, it's not like you know. Apostle Michael Petra wrote the book, Access Behind the Veil. And then there's um, the homilies of Luke and John. And they're forever like every book in the Bible. Um, oh, who wrote them? Uh, it'll come to me. All right. What is his name? Um, uh, I'll have it tomorrow. All right, have a great day. Have a great Labor Day. Bye-bye.